I heard a guy say the other day, you should be for things instead of against things. I like that. I've been working on it, but I'm not real good at it. Because there's so many things that are wonderful to be against. (laughs) It's hard. I mean, I like the idea of being positively. I'm going to be proactively for something. Okay, so I'm going to start this. Because I can't find anything in this article I'm for. Uh, there's a whole bunch of things in here I'm against, but nothing I'm for. Okay. I mean, like, I don't, nothing, nothing in this I'm for. So, so interesting. I'll tell you what I am for. I am for you winning with money. And I'm for you having the responsibility to make wise choices and not be protected from yourself. So that kind of makes me like an economic libertarian if you want to try to put me in a pigeonhole or something. Meaning I just like I like the free market punishing people that misbehave rather than the government trying to fix everything. Every time the government tries to fix something it screws it up. An example of that. Several years ago, first uh one of the first things um and I'm pretty sure I've got this right. It was either very early in the Obama term or very late in the George W. Bush term, but I'm pretty sure it was early in the Obama term. Um, he formed a one of the worst bureaus ever formed in the history of Washington. It's the worst agency ever formed. It's horrid. It's called the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau, the CFPB. Elizabeth Warren, formerly a Harvard law professor, now a senator, was the first director of the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau. The Consumer Financial Protection Bureau was given almost unlimited powers and has basically jackbooted its way through any part of the financial business or industry it wanted to, all in the name of taking care of the consumer, and truthfully has screwed up a whole lot more than it's fixed. Like everything it touches, it screws up. It's screwed up the real estate business, the mortgage business, the appraisal business. It is screwed up more than it's touched. And it and, and a lot of the stuff it tried to cause protection for the consumers, increased costs for the consumer ridiculously. Because of people in the financial world have to run around and cover their butt in ways that are ridiculous. It assumes immediately that anyone anywhere in the financial world is a crook. And they just, this, this group is, I mean, just out of control. I mean, their power is ridiculous. So can you tell, I have, and I've never said anything good about the CFPB on this show. So there's something I'm against. There you go. See, I'm against the CFPB. Okay. And then you get into this article that somebody handed me this morning on NPR. Now, if NPR were to comment on something on the Trump administration or a Republican or a conservative, can you possibly imagine that NPR didn't like it? Like NPR is pretty left leaning. Trump is pretty right leaning, like off the scale. And so you get all this political bias in here. So I don't like that. I'm against that. Payday lenders appear to have a powerful friend in Washington. Oh, there's something else I'm against. Payday lenders. Former Republican Representative Mick Mulvaney is the interim head of the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau. He was appointed by President Trump amid an ongoing power struggle for control of the bureau. There's not a power struggle for the control of the Bureau. It's under the heading of the president's guidelines. Obama held it so tightly in his hands it was unbelievable, and Trump is doing the same thing. No power struggle. Watchdog groups are up in arms because under Mulvaney, the CFPB, which purports to be helping the consumer, has put a hold on a rule that would restrict payday lenders and their high-interest loans, and it's also dropped a lawsuit against online lenders charging 900% interest rates. So the, uh, and turns out that this uh, representative has taken donations from the payday lending industry. So instead of just shutting down this ridiculous bureau that Clinton, or the, that, I'm sorry, that Obama put in place, Trump instead put a guy in charge of it who at one time apparently said it's a sick, sad joke, which that would be something I actually would agree with. And now he's in charge of it. He called it a sick, sad joke, and now they made him in charge of it. Why don't you just be in charge of shutting it down? 
and there we would be, okay? Instead, he goes in there and starts jumping on and stripping down and allowing the payday lenders to run rogue. Now, I listen, I, the best way to take care of payday lenders, because that's scum. That's a completely scummy business. 800, 900% interest effectively annually, and, and they feed on poor people. Because rich people, middle class people don't go in those places. They're ripping off poor people. I mean, it's the bottom of the barrel of scum. You know, it's the scum barrel at the bottom of the scum barrel, right? I mean, it's unbelievable. Scummy, scummy, scummy business. I mean, really. Horrible. No redeeming value whatsoever. Oh, well, poor people need access to borrowed money. No, poor people do not need to get screwed. It makes them poorer. That's a stupid butt statement. Just ridiculous. These loans have been found by Congress to be so dangerous that they have been prohibited for the military. And that was George W. Bush that signed that into law. That's true. Because they were ripping off, they were right outside all the military bases, outside the gates, and these young guys and gals are, you know, 19 years old, get their first check, and they go out there and they blow it, and then they get in trouble, and they go payday lending with the military. Military has prohibited that now. Good. Good. Let me tell you how I'd love rather run payday lenders out of business. Nobody does business with them. There's your regulation. That's a marketplace regulation. That's the marketplace saying, you people are scum, you suck, you're ripping people off. I'm not going over there. Educate poor people that are going in those places to not go in those places anymore because you're dying. They are killing you. They're cutting your fingers and your toes off. I mean, they're unbelievable. I mean, if we could get everybody to understand that, you want to spend some money, let's spend some money on educating people to not do stupid stuff, and then people that rip people off will not be in business anymore. It is not a benefit to poor people to rip them off. Poor people need access to borrowed capital as well. That's the bull crap. That's just a stupid butt statement justifying ripping somebody off. That's all it is. So, I so far have found nothing I'm for. I'm not for NPR bashing Trump, because that's fairly predictable. I'm not for Trump appointing some guy to the head of the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau who cuts down the regulations immediately and allows these rogue scum people to run rogue. I'm, there's nothing in here to be for. There's just nothing here to be for. I'm for you staying out of payday lenders. I, I you know, I prefer that we don't have to have piles of regulations to run these scum burgers out of business. I prefer instead we educate people and you don't do business with them because they're scum burgers. What if everybody understood that these people are ripoffs and never went in there? Then they would go away, right? The marketplace would have called them. But instead they feed on the very people who they who can least afford it. So in the interim, if the stupid Consumer Financial Protection Bureau is actually going to exist if you're going to run it, you ought to at least leave the regulations in place to, to make it hard on payday lenders, especially online payday lenders, which is the worst of the worst. So well, that's a fairly negative little rant. <laughs> yeah, I just, I, my God, there's nothing here to be for. I can't be for this representative. I can't be for Trump. I can't be for NPR. I can't be for CFPB. And I sure as crap can't be for payday lenders. So I'm just against everything. And it's the only way I know to be for you and actually have an objective, critical thinking path in looking at this particular issue, this particular article. Yeah. Because NPR wrote the article so slanted that you, you, you have to lean your head sideways to read it. It's so slanted. And Trump is completely out of control with this stupid process that's going here. This guy running this thing is obviously an idiot. Oh my gosh, this is nuts, y'all. Shut the thing down. Shut the thing down. And you people stay out of the payday lender's office. You're getting screwed. Was I unclear? I hope not. This is the Dave Ramsey Show. <laughs>